Hello again. In this video I'm going to show you how you set your tablet up or phone uh, to be able to uh, remotely view the video or the cameras uh, while you're away from the from the unit. Um, I'm using an old iPad for this but I do have it set up on my newer tablet and on my phone but this is purely just to show you how to set up it would just save me deleting it and then reloading it again uh, on my other ones uh, so what we do there's two ways of doing the getting the app on your on your system you can either download it via just go on to google or whatever and tip it and tap in xmi that is x m e y e and you then download the app and that comes up on your phone or on your screen uh, or there's this way of doing it where you can use your QR reader and that's what I'm going to do here so I'm going to press QR reader and on my unit I'm just going to move the camera back show my screen you'll notice that I've actually got a bit of paper on part of the screen that's where the serial number for my unit comes up and obviously I don't want you to be able to see that because you'll be able to watch my videos otherwise. Um, but what you do is you go, you right click the mouse, uh, guide, click next, next and next and you get your app for either the iPhone or the Android. Now obviously I want iPhone or iPad rather. So I'm just going to move that up till that reads that code, which it's already done. And now it's now giving me the option to download it, which is what I'm just going to do. So I just click on the download and I now just have to wait for that to come up on the screen. There we go, it's doing it now. There we go, now it's downloaded. I'm just going to click the open, which opens up the program. Let's hope it turns around the other way, which it's not going to. I'll just leave that on there. Obviously you have to accept their privacy statement. Uh, okay, which I've already done. Now I'm going to have to turn this over the other way now, I'm afraid. What we now have to do is add the actual system to this app. And again, there's two ways you can do that. You can either use the QR code again, and then you will scan the, the one which I've got blanked out, which is the serial number for that particular machine, and it will add it onto the, the, the app so that you can view your camera settings from there. Um, now there's another way of doing it. You can actually input manually. And how you find the details for that, again, I'm just gonna cancel that. I'm going to take this off for a minute because you've got to find the serial number of the machine manually and you do that by going into the main menu info version just where I've got that the serial number is there and you input that into the unit and then that will then pick up the, the actual settings from the camera I'm going to do that off camera so I'm just going to pause this and I'll be back in a moment so I'm just going to log into this XMI um, you will have to register first time to give it a username, but I've already done it. And now I need to find my my unit. So what I've got to do is I've got to I've got on the device list. I need to press the plus up the top, which will ask me, do I want to do a quick configure configuration or use the the scanner, or I can put it in manually, which is actually what I'm going to do. So I'm going to give the camera just let that in manual add. There we go. Device name. Now all I'm going to do is call it Sansco. So I'm just going to type in Sansco. Then underneath I'm going to write the serial number in. Now this is where I'm actually now going to put this in offline so that you can't see it. So just bear with me for a moment. Okay so I've entered the, pass uh, the serial number into the machine and clicked OK and now it's come up with a device list and I've got my Sansco camera on there. So if I click on that Okay, it comes up with my four cameras. Now I can click on any one of those and that will actually give me a live view. Um, I can have all four cameras come up together. Sorry about moving the camera. If I click on four, that gives me all four. Um, I can click on any one camera 
to give me a view on that particular area. Okay. And if I want to watch back um, something from, say, a little while ago, if I click video there, the picture of the camera, I can do that. Now that is actually showing at 0022 this morning. And this bit here, I know it's a little bit awkward to see, I can move the timeline along and all the orange bits are where the camera has actually been recording something. So that is the the automatic, uh, the sensor has come on, it's obviously sensor movement and it started the camera recording. So if I wanted to see maybe come along, this is at 1.58 in the morning, those there are things flying around outside which is enough actually to set it off. Well, let me just put that back on there again. Okay, I've um, changed this to my uh, Samsung tablet because my iPad was getting full of memory. Um, so for playback, what I need to do is just click on that. And that gives me a picture, um, say that was happening at 22 minutes past 12 this morning. Um, I can move the timeline along and view whichever time I want to view when the camera was going off. So if I set it just before 5.15, Obviously something caused that to start up there and I think it was the, the flies or whatever it was or the moths going across in front of the camera. I could reduce the sensitivity a bit but if I do it may not go when somebody walks along the front by my cars and by my next door neighbour's van. And again I can come a little bit later on in the day. There we go, somebody went by on their bike there, just gone 11 o'clock this morning. Can't identify who it is from this distance, but that's neither here nor there. You can uh, change the time to show minutes so as you can actually get an actual real, really fine time. If you really want a particular second, you can do that and it'll play from there. You can speed up your recording time, you know, two times the normal speed and so on back to times one you can even go backwards if you want it but uh, there we go anyway so that's really that was obviously a, a bee or a wasp just went across so I'm just going to return that back to live video and I'm going to click on four which will give you all four cameras running again and that is a live view so anyway you can have a play with that yourself and um, it's quite easy to do and once you've got it set up uh, quite straightforward so uh, hopefully you enjoyed that I'm sorry if I babbled a bit but um, it'll give you some idea of how it all works so thanks for watching and I might see you again in another video soon. Thank you. Bye.